Hi folks, Chris Martin here. The World Championships of Diplomacy are over for 2016, and we have a new champion joining the ranks. Congratulations, Chris Brand. The Weasels put on a heck of a show, and I was lucky enough to be there and catch some footage of the top board in action. So I'm going to break down the strategies, tactics, and diplomacy that let Chris Brand win the day. Before we get started, a quick word about the audio quality. This was all shot with a handheld camcorder and then and the very closing with a, an iPhone. So the audio quality isn't great. There's a lot of stuff going on in the background. I apologize. The next time we do this, we'll try for better audio quality. That being said, let's get started by looking at the board selection process. Weaselmoot uses the Paris method for determining who is going to play what power on the top board. In the Paris method, there are two phases. In the first phase, players choose the order in which they will select their powers, and then in the second phase, they actually choose their powers. So the player who came into the round with the lowest score, he doesn't have any choice. His card is just put on the table. Then, in rising order, each player decides whether they want to choose before, after, or in between the players in front of them. Finally, when all of the positions have been chosen, powers will be taken in the order that has been determined. Interestingly, the tiebreaker at the World Diplomacy Championships, should there be one on the top board, is by the player who selected their power last. So, who would choose what power, and what would the ordering be? Let's take a look. <laughs> uh, Live television people. This part will be edited out. Alright, sorry. Nays and Barnes gets to go. Just uh, closer to Silver on the side of first part. There we go. Big so, musky shit. I don't, I don't understand so, what I'm doing. So, wait, wait, wait. Closer to Silver? Yep. So you want to go Do you want to go last? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize which no, one. No, 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 we're going yeah, towards me, yeah. towards me. So, so this is the order that you're going to pick countries. You're going to pick countries. Pick countries. So do you want to pick so before Nathan, or do you want to pick, I want to pick at, as far to, close to last as possible? Well, you can be last. You can be last. Let's be last. There you go. All right. <laughs> All right. It'll Adam be Silverman. <laughs> So, so, Adam, where did you pick? Uh, Adam went to the uh, second to the front for now, third to the back. Peter Jurgen picks the first spot at this point. Andrew Goff. Andrew Goff slides in between Silverman and Brand and Doug Moore for the selection spot. Doug Moore selects uh, after Andrew Goff and in between Chris Brand. Peter Jurgen gets to pick his country first. So let's think about what just happened there. Players chose their position in reverse order of their ranking at this point in the tournament. So when the top board was called, Chris Brand was in seventh place in the tournament. And he got no choice about where he wanted to pick. After Chris, it was Nathan, then Dave, Adam, Peter, Andrew, and Doug. But when the sorting was done, Peter Jurgen was picking first. And Dave Maletsky was picking last. So now you ask yourself, what country do you want to play if you get to pick first? And when you see that, if you're picking second, third, or so on down the line, who do you want to have as your neighbor? Which country do you feel most comfortable with? Some really interesting choices happening here, and it really affected the whole course of the top board. The uh, selection will be Peter Jurgen. Nathan Barnes, Adam Silverman, Andrew Goff, Doug Moore, Chris Brand, Dave Letzi. So what are we doing? Just grab a piece? Just grab a piece. Now you can grab your piece. <laughs> <laughs> grab your pin. Oh, grab your pin. Grab, grab your pin. Grab your pin. Grab your pin. With the first pin, Peter Jurgen picks Whoa. Austria. Ooh. Oh, All right. All right. Nathan right. Barnes picks France. Nathan Barnes, France. That's right. Adam Silverman. <laughs> and just for uh, uh, tournament rules, the further back you pick is the tiebreaker if the time round comes up. Yes. <laughs> this is a hard choice. Adam uh, 
Said he didn't have a strategy going in, but he takes. Adam Silverman picked England. Britain. England. Ah. Scott deserved that. <laughs> Nicola. Nicola. Just go with the flavor text. <laughs> Did Tom Coburn just say that? <laughs> I lose a lot of fiber. <laughs> okay, so his handwriting's on this. Yeah. I lose a lot of fiber. Andrew Goff picked Tisha Lily Lee. Oh, all right. I propose a draw. <laughs> <laughs> Germany. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 <laughs> I, I, I chose to be last. <laughs> Chris Brand picks Italy. Dave Valetsky has Turkey. So, right. as we recap, Peter Jurgen picked Austria. Nathan Barge picked France. Adam Silverman picked England. Andrew Goff picked Russia. Doug Moore picked Germany. Chris Brand picked Italy. Dave Valetsky was forced to Turkey. I've written an order. And he's already in <laughs> Good luck, top board. Good luck. Yeah. So some fascinating choices there. Peter Jurgen going first takes Austria. I like that choice. Austria right in the middle, right in the heart of everything. Lots of opportunity for play. Nathan Barnes second takes France. A very safe choice on the top board. Great defensive position. Nobody's going to run in on you really quickly. You're going to have play into the mid game almost certainly. Adam has the really interesting choice. Does he want to be in the same theater as Peter? Or does he want to be in the same theater with Nathan? He and Nathan maybe have a little more history playing together than he and Peter do, and he chooses England. So it's a corner position. Interesting choice. Andrew Goff, then, with the remaining choices of Russia, Germany, Italy, or Turkey, takes Russia. Has to play in both theaters. Going to definitely be keeping him busy, making sure he's talking to everybody. That puts Doug in the position of Germany, Italy, or Turkey, and I could have told you that he was hoping that he'd get Germany at that point. Very happy with that. I think Doug is. And then Chris Brand, Dave Maletsky, Italy and Turkey. Chris Brand takes Italy. Dave takes Turkey. And, and now we get started. It's spring in 1901 and the negotiations. But that's it for this video. Look for the next one when we're going to do spring of 1901.